Hi, I'm Joey. Welcome to the Quarantine Cook. Tonight, we're gonna do a couple of simple dishes with some vegetables that we got. Uh, we'll do some yellow squash and zucchini, and we're gonna bake those in the oven. And we're gonna do that with some agarotten potatoes. So let's get started. First, we're gonna wash our vegetables. Give everything a nice lunch. Next, we're gonna peel our potatoes. And then we're gonna slice them up. Just take your potato peeler, like so, and get all the skin off. And then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, we're gonna preheat our oven to 450. You're just gonna slice the potatoes thinly for the old wrapped potatoes. Kinda of like that. All right, and just be careful with your knife as always. And if you get a couple of them a little bit thicker, it's not gonna make a difference. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put just a tad of olive oil in the bottom of my two pans here. You don't need a whole lot. That should do just fine. Next, take your potatoes and layer them into the pan, like so. When we put the sauce in, and we'll go between the cracks, fill in the gaps. You take your zucchinis and Slice them very carefully down the center. So. And quarter them. And then take your other squash and do the same thing. Just like so. Take some salt and sprinkle it over the top of your zucchinis and your potatoes. The sea salt's really heavy. Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna take our heavy whipping cream and pour it over the top of the potatoes. And slice up your tomato and that is going to be placed on top of the potatoes. I'm doing a variation on the au gratin process here. And just like so. And you're gonna take butter and you're gonna place it on top of the zucchini and your other squash. And then also on top of your au gratin potatoes. This butter will help the vegetables crisp up in the oven. And don't leave out your au gratin potato butter. All right. Now those are ready to go. And we're just gonna place those in the oven. Okay, our oven is preheated. And a little foil boat to go underneath this so it doesn't leak into the oven. I have a pizza stove in my oven. This will set flat on here. Or if you want, you can just use like a cookie sheet. This is gonna go right 
here. Or if anything overflows, it goes right on that. And then we're gonna set the squash right next to it. And we are gonna cook these for about 40 minutes. Our timer just went off. I'm gonna turn the broiler on. I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese over my potatoes, but I'm gonna take my pot holder and pull this out just a bit so that I don't burn myself. And we're just gonna sprinkle this right over the top like so. Push the rack back in. There we go. set the timer just for a few minutes there another five minutes and it should be done okay it's been five minutes our timer just went off these are going to be so delicious now be careful taking your squash out. Look at that, nice and brown on the top. Piece de la resistance. Our scallop potatoes. Oh, it smells so wonderful. I hope you guys try this recipe and you enjoy it as much as I know I'm going to. These look fantastic. Put a piece of each type of squash on these plates. Serve them up. These potatoes look absolutely scrumptious. Okay, I'm just trying to scoop it from the bottom so it comes out in a layer like so. Looks fantastic. I love how crispy the tomatoes came out. And there we go. Baked squash and potatoes au gratin with pomodoro. Until next time, I'm Joey, the quarantine cook. We'll see you then.